Hello and welcome in. My name is Mark, aka The Markster. This is video number 70 in the Free Cat series. So today we have a question on the Free Cat forum about assembling a threaded pipe with a valve. So here's a picture of the valve and here's a picture of the pipe. And this user would like to know how to get these assembled using assembly for or A2 plus. Well I'm going to show how to do it with assembly 3. Now let's take a look at first the parts. So he has the links to the pipe and to the valve and here opened up a link to the valve I mean to the uh, to the pipe and this is a McMaster car, which is a, a well-known seller of various hardware. Uh, they're proud of their parts and they charge accordingly. But it's good stuff and it's a good place to get stuff. But anyway, with each part, you have uh, step files that you can download, 3D models. And we want the step file format for FreeCAD. So we click save there and get the file. And it did the same for the uh, valve. So I have both of those parts downloaded. And we also need the Conda version of FreeCAD in order to get Assembly 3. So let's open the FreeCAD homepage here click download now scroll past this area don't let this sidetrack you go down to development versions free care releases page and look in the 0 0.19 pre-release section uh, by the time you watch this maybe it's a newer version but right now we're, we're in 0 0.19 and look down to the assets tab you might need to expand that if it's collapsed. And there are two versions for Windows. We have the LibPack version, which is the LP, and we have the Conda version. Macintosh has a Conda version, and the Linux app image is also Conda. So any of these Conda versions will contain assembly 3 workbench the libpack version will not so if you're using the libpack you're going to need to get the conda version to get assembly 3 these these windows files here are in the 7-zip format the 7-z extension and here's a link to the 7-z um, archive utility if you don't already have that so download the 7-z file download and install 7-zip and then extract the 7-z file inside the folder that's created it will be a bin folder inside the bin folder will be the freecad.exe executable which is what I'm running here I've already downloaded the step files so let's go ahead and get those open there's the one for the pipe and here's the one for the valve they're coming in in two separate documents so what I'm going to do is just drag this one into this document and then close and discard changes to that one so now I have them both in the same document so the goal is to get this pipe threaded into here basically and we'll use assembly 3 for that so I also have assembly 4 and you might have assembly 2 or A2 plus installed do not confuse assembly 4 with assembly 3 assembly 4 is not 
the newest incarnation of assembly workbench assembly 4 is an assembler that takes uh, a different approach so I'll be using assembly 3 today and in the assembly 3 menu the first thing we need to do is create a new assembly and if we expand the assembly we see a section for elements and one for parts so these two groups will contain the uh, the parts of our assembly and there will be another section called constraints once we add a constraint so we need to drag this part into the assembly and notice that it places it in the parts section the parts you are moving need to be inside of part containers. This valve, which contains all the little parts of the valve, like the handle and you know the housing and all this, all in this container, in this part container. So it was already in there. But this one is not. So we need to create a part container. And we can do that with this icon here. It looks like um, some yellow steps and we drag this pipe into the part and then we drag the part into the assembly so this is the hierarchy we need in order to begin using this assembly workbench so what I would like is for this to, to be assembled such that it looks like we screwed it into these threads here. The order of selection is important. The first part you select will be sort of the master and it will stay put and the second part you select will be moved. So I'm going to select this circular edge and this circular edge holding down the control key so that both remain selected and um, I'm not a expert not an expert on this assembly workbench so it's likely to be a little bit of trial and error here in getting this to work and the constraint I would like to use is this one plane alignment constraint and sometimes you need to click here to solve the constraint but that one looks like it solved it automatically so that looks pretty good but it's not exactly what I wanted. Notice now we have constraints. So we have parts, elements, and constraints. And the plane alignment constraint use these two elements. So how do we get this oriented the way I want it oriented. I'm going I'm to turn lock angle to true. And let's try this pitch angle. Let's just try 5 degrees. Let's see if we can work this around to 180 degrees. I'm going in increments because if we go too fast we might not get the result we want
So I'm just going a little bit at a time. All right. So it took a little finagling. So those are our two edges lined up now the way I wanted them. We can also use, if you click constraints, uh, click the, the constraint that we're using. Uh, some of these have an offset. Depending on the constraint you're using. So we can further tweak if it's not exactly where we wanted it. So you see it's moving a little closer. So that's uh, the basics of Assembly 3. Again, I'm no expert on this. I've just started using it, really. I'm going to start using it more now that it's in this Windows version. So this, I'll start using this Condo release now and experimenting more with this Assembly 3 workbench. That's probably a better way than what I've done here. But... Uh, Experiment through trial and error. Try the different constraints. Select different uh, points, edges, faces. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to experiment with this and try to learn more about it. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll have this model uploaded to the GitHub site with a link in the description and a link to the forum topic also. So thanks for watching and have a great day.